Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. So today I will be showing you guys how to make a Winter Soldier arm from the new Disney Plus show, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I have been really enjoying the show and every time I see the arm, I'm like, I need to build that. So I finally did and this video will be a tutorial on how to make it. The main material that I used to make this arm was EVA foam and you can see a full material list in the description below. I will also be posting a link to a free template so if you guys want to make one for yourself feel free to do it. So I only built this arm up to the wrist. Right now I'm just wearing a gardening glove but if you guys want to make a glove out of foam or you know buy a different glove that's totally up to you. Without further ado let's get on with the tutorial. So I just start off by freehand sketching the general shoulder shape. So right now I'm looking at a photo of the arm and just getting a nice sketch laid out. You guys don't have to worry about this part because I will be posting the template. But I just like to show you guys kind of how my process goes. And now I just cut out that shape with an X-Acto knife. And you can see here that I will be gluing on that seam right there to get a nice kind of ball shape to my shoulder. So here I'm using a heat gun to get my piece warmed up and I use my knee to kind of bend a curved shape into the shoulder. And I do a quick test fit. So here I'm just adding some of that contact cement to that seam and I glue that piece together. You guys can use hot glue if you'd like but I find contact cement works a lot better. And here I'm just trying to get a nice general shape for how big the bicep and tricep piece will be. And now I do a freehand sketch of that shape before I cut it out. So once you have your piece traced out, just use your X-Acto knife and cut it out. So this bicep and tricep piece is pretty much a tube, but what I'm doing here is I'm curving the edges of the bicep and that'll give you a nice muscular look. As you can see here, there is a nice curve to the bicep and that'll give it a nice smoother look. So now you just want to throw some contact cement to the top of that piece. And this is what the shoulder piece will be connecting to. So once you let your contact cement dry for a little bit, you want to connect the two pieces. And once the two pieces connect, it will pretty much instantaneously stick. And now you just want to use some contact cement and close up that bicep piece. Here I am gluing on the elbow. And now here I am sketching out the forearm piece. Again, you can see that there's some nice curves to it, and that'll give it a much more realistic look. And again, you just want to use some contact cement to close up those seams.
And this seam right here is what you want to glue together to keep your arm and the forearm as one piece, but also to allow it to kind of have a hinge to it. So before you stick those together, as you can see here, I added a piece of scrap foam underneath the bicep. And that just kind of acts as a guide to make sure the forearm doesn't slide inside of that bicep piece. And once you connect it, you should have something like this. And now I'm just sketching out the details here. Now depending on whether you're doing this new Winter Soldier arm or the silver Winter Soldier arm, the details will change, so I will leave that up to you guys. And here is one of my favorite techniques. I use an X-Acto knife to just score those detail lines that I drew. And when you heat those up with a heat gun, those lines will open up and give you some nice texture and detail. You want to make sure you're not cutting too deep or else you'll cut through the arm. But you also want to make sure that you're not cutting too shallow or else your details won't really come out as much. I cut about one to two millimeters into the foam. And as you can see with my heat gun here, you can see those lines start to open up and that's going to give your arm a really nice, realistic, detailed, sexy look. And you just want to heat up your entire arm just like this. And here's a close up of those lines. And now we're ready for painting. So here I just use a gloss black spray paint from Krylon. And there's no real secret to paint this thing, you just want to make sure you're doing it in layers at a time and not putting on too much at one time. I put about three layers of black paint to get a nice solid color. And once you're done painting, you should have something that looks like this. Now to add the gold detail, I just used a gold sharpie and all I did was color it in. If you use short little streaks when you're filling in the color, your color won't be as solid and you'll see a lot of streak marks. If you just do it in long streaks at a time, your color will be a lot more rich and a lot more filled in. And here is that technique that I was talking about with those long streaks. And here is the final product.
So I will show you guys how I remove and put on the arms. First, I'm gonna take off the glove. And really, it should just slide on. This one is a little tight on me. And as I mentioned, this is on a little bit of a hinge, just right there. So when you open it up, you'll be able to see your arm. That is why I wear this black sleeve, so to kind of make my arm camouflage, which works out really well. And of course, you guys can use the template to build the original Winter Soldier arm, the silver one, or you can use it to make this new one. If you do decide to build it and want to post a picture, feel free to tag me on Instagram, at Propway, and I would love to see all of your work. And just to show you how to put this on, it's very easy. Just put it in, slide your hand in. It should sit nice and snug on the shoulder. And there you go. You are now the Winter Soldier. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. As always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.